I need your keys. Where are you? What do you mean you're not telling me? Come on. I, look, I, 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 I need somebody I can trust. I can barely trust you. Just get back here as soon as you can. All right, all right. Hold on till you get here. Goodbye. Was that Angel? No, it was Keith. The last time I heard anything about Angel, I let you know that he was at the Orient Express. If you let him get away, that's your problem. Hey, don't blame me for that. Blame Mason. Fine. I'll blame you both. But it's not going to do Angel much good to get in touch with me. Since the last time he did, I turned him in, and he knows it. I'm sure that didn't put him in a very good mood. Well, the next time he tries to get in touch with you, you let me know about it immediately. You got that? All right. As long as he's not holding a knife to my neck, I'd be happy to oblige. Now, maybe it's time you did something about your lousy taste in friends, Gina. Thanks for the advice. Hey, no problem. I love giving you advice. Now, who was that on the phone again? I told you. It was Keith. Keith, huh? Better not be lying. Bruce. Why is he off in such a hurry? I don't know. Probably driven away by the new lady of the house. Do you have to say that? I'm sorry. It just seems like the closer we get to this thing, the more it seems like a bad idea. It's breakfast, Ted. Just breakfast. It's never just anything with Gina, Haley. Okay, you're right. You can look for the poison in the orange juice. Yeah, you actually think she's doing this for the heck of it? For the fun of it? She is making an effort. She doesn't think being married to your father has to be total misery, so she's trying to reach out to you, and especially your father. Oh, and that's where my job comes in, right? I gotta talk to my dad, convince him that Gina is a good person. She is not going to ask that of you. Well, well what does she want me here for? Otherwise, she should just ask you for yourself. Maybe she thinks of you and I being married as some sort of symbol. What? A symbol of the two families joining together to establish some sort of harmony. Yeah, we're a terrific example of that. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking about. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Look at this. I mean, wait, this is stupid. I mean, we're talking about harmony in the middle of an argument. An argument I didn't start. I... That's true. All right, Ted. Don't have breakfast with us. I will make up some sort of excuse. Forget it. No, you're right. I mean, like you said, it's just breakfast. Just breakfast. 